Hey everybody, welcome to week three. I hope you all are dry. Um, I just got back from campus and it was wet. <laughs> really dangerous on the road. So I really hope everyone's staying safe. Um, so thank you all to those of you who came to the in-person class um, this morning. We had a small but mighty crew and we got a chance to talk through some of the themes that came up in the Laura Putnam reading that I assigned for week two. So if you are watching the podcast for that one, which is 50 of you, <laughs> um, you'll be able to see um, kind of the, the questions that we talked about and, and answer on the discussion padlet and um, get a feel for the themes that came out, out of that reading and my thoughts about that reading too. Um, on Wednesday this week, we are looking more, the, the title is The History of Digital History Part 2. So we're getting into some other examples of digital history resources, and there's three of them that I will have us explore in class on Wednesday. Um, they all have to do with Black, uh, Black American history or U.S. history uh, from African American perspectives. Um, and two of them have to do with uh, slavery but um, uh, one of them has to do with futurism, Afrofuturism. So it's a really interesting mix. They're all from different, very different repositories, very different organizations. So hopefully we'll um, get a chance to talk through the variety of ways in which these sorts of historical sources are engaged with in um, online formats. And then that's connected to the reading that we're going to be doing for week three, which is an article by Jessica Marie Johnson, and it is all about Black digital humanities, and it actually references a few of the, or it references one of the sources that we're going to be looking at in depth for week three. And then um, this week, you also have a class participation deck, or class participation reflection due um, at the end of the week. So this is just a really short survey. Um, gives you a chance to check in with me about how the class is going so far, about how the ungrading is going, how you're accessing the class. Really short, um, one, one paragraph response and I'll be able to respond to you directly. And then um, we also are starting our first project journals this week. So basically the in-class work that we're gonna be doing on Wednesday goes into your project journal. So you're starting that assignment in class essentially and I'll go over what that journal looks like, what that project is um, at the top of class on Wednesday. All right, so I, you know, I'm at home now, right at home through the, the pouring rain. I hope everybody's staying dry and safe and I will see you on Wednesday, um, if not in person, online. Have a great week three, everyone.